sick of you I just look good on you Wanna love, wanna love Wanna be coming Don't wanna be young Don't wanna be familiar Was more than friends with you Gave you everything You heal my everything Good morning everyone! So today I thought that I would do a sort of get ready with me GRWM My first of this type of video so I hope you guys like it Right now I am completely bare faced I just finished brushing my teeth, washing my face I'm gonna put on some toner, this is the Kate Somerville Clarifying Treatment Toner So you basically just press on here until the cotton is soaked and then you apply it gently on your face whenever I wash my face or anything I like to wash my neck as well and then also my ears just to make sure everything's clean and also my skin all this week was pretty good until last night or like yesterday because I think it was all building up we had our first midterm I mean I had my first midterm of the semester uh, yesterday and so oh, this is the Kate Somerville oil-free moisturizer pump it out like this you press down on this and then it gives you a perfect little scoop we had our first bio midterm last night so last semester the exams were from 6 to 8 but a lot of people had conflicts so they actually moved it to 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. so after that 10 p.m. I went to the gym for a little bit and then I came back I ate some food <laughs> okay I put on moisturizer I'm gonna get my hair brush ow. ow do you like my pajamas I got these for Christmas I was gonna brush my hair I might actually try to move this light again it's like my entire family has a matching set of these I think it's from LL Bean it's so comfortable and it's so warm right now it's 8 13 a.m. I'm going to put on some makeup, eat some breakfast. Actually, I'm going to apply some sunscreen first. This is Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. Dab it on my face. And also on my neck. A little bit though. Sunscreen applied. Even when it's cloudy, the UV rays can still leak through the clouds, so it's definitely always a good idea to wear some block. Then I'm going to use this CC Cream Pink Flower Complex. This is made in Korea, what brand? Pure Beauty. Put like some here, just a little bit. It, it's actually pretty full coverage, it's a CC cream. And it's SPF 30 as well, and it's dermatologically tested. I hope so. <laughs> so today, it's this Friday, it's, oh, wait, did I say this? It's Valentine's Day, did I say that already? Okay. Yes, well, now you know, it's Valentine's Day. At 12 o'clock p.m., I actually have a symposium. So it's not Valentine's Day related at all, but it could be because of my love for science and for research. So it's like a Valentine's Day for my research. There's a surf symposium, which stands for the Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship, which I was lucky enough to be selected for last summer. So it's, um, I think different schools have different undergraduate summer research programs. Our school's is called, or Columbia's is called SURF. And so students from Columbia and I believe also Barnard can apply for this fellowship. There is SURF, there's also Amgen, which is a different program, but it's like combined in the same application. So if you apply to SURF, I believe, you can also forward your application to Amgen if that's something that you want to do. And so, ooh, I gotta cover these dark circles. Hold on, sorry. Concealer. I usually don't wear concealer, but today is a special occasion. Mission Perfection. Broad Spectrum, also SPF. You squeeze it, so there's this thing where you can open it and then you squeeze it. Do you see that? Is it open? It's not open. You can squeeze it like this. So that thing comes out. And then you dab it under your eyes. And then you use the brush to just cover it. Okay, and what was I saying? It's the... Oh yeah, you can apply through the same 
the same application procedure. It's a series of short answers, I believe. You have to send in your transcript. You can probably look this up if you're interested in applying. What you do is it's a full summer research experience, which is really great, um, especially if you're an intro science researcher as an undergrad. They teach you how to write scientific papers, how to make scientific poster presentations, and also how to just like become a better scientist, gain those skills, and depending on your lab also you might get to present in lab, which I did last summer, which was really exciting. It was a really good experience just to, just to get in front of the room with a giant projector screen and present what you've been doing over the summer. And so that's what I'm going to be doing again today. So you might have watched my October vlog. There was the Columbia College Undergraduate Research Symposium or Undergraduate Research Fair, which I presented at as well. And today is the SURF Symposium, which is again a poster presentation session where we explain our work and there's going to be a lot more, I think, students interested in SURF and students interested in um, research in general and also the general public because it's in low library, like low, low rotunda. Let me know if you have any more questions down in the comments below, I'd be happy to answer them and highly encourage you guys to apply to this too if you're interested in anything like this and doing summer research as an undergrad or you know just getting experience and yeah okay and so what am I gonna do now do eyeshadow so this is the rosy bar palette which I use number three rosy flash so I just go on the outer corner of my eyes I concentrate the color here and then I spread it out towards the inner corner and I like to add a little bit of shine so either this one or this one I might go for this lighter color today so I'm gonna put it in the inner corner of my eyes and it really I feel like it really makes a big difference and it makes your eyes look more lively because of that shine so the symposium is from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. we have to get there the presenters have to get there a little bit earlier at 11:30 to put up our posters it's pretty amazing what you can do as an undergrad here um, at Columbia and at other research institutions. It's like just a really great experience and it's like it it helps you solidify what you want to do in the future too. Hey, I did it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Okay, and these are curled as well. Today I might not actually use this beautiful extend curl mascara that I always use. The wand is super tiny. Ooh, it's like look it looks like my eyebrow. My mustache. Right, the wand is super tiny, so it's like easy to separate your lashes with, and it's also super waterproof. I'm actually gonna use this Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara Advanced Film. This one is a lot thicker. It is curl, curlier, curvier. Look, it's like a curvy eyebrow. Oh, this actually looks really good. And so that's done with the eyes. I'm going to also use this same mascara and brush it against the grain of your eyebrows. And this really makes the mascara stick to your brows. And then you're gonna brush it out like this. So it kind of makes it a little bit darker. I don't know if you can tell. And it just makes your brows neater too. I learned this from my my Ai, my mom's friend, who learned it from her daughter, I think, who is a makeup pro. Oh yeah, I think it looks good. So I think I'm done. Oh, just kidding. I forgot lips. Sorry. Made in Japan. I can't, I don't know what it's called, but I really like this. Super moisturizing lipstick, glossy as well. I'm gonna take that and cut it on here. Looks pretty natural. And then, um, 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 um. and this is the final look. And I'm gonna change into my clothes right now. What time is it? It's 8:30. We have to be there by 11:30, and it's literally a five-minute walk away. So I'm gonna practice my presentation some more. I practiced it last night, but I want to make sure that I'm really well versed and I can answer any questions that people might have, so that they really fully understand the research. Yay! Oh, I forgot to put blush. Okay, so pro tip for using blush. I don't know if you know this. A lot of makeup people do this. Um, you just dab the same color lipstick. I like to use the same color lipstick. <laughs> Not because it matches, but because it's easier to, to reach since you're already putting it on your mouth. And yeah. 
There you go. Does that look better? Okay, cool. And then people like to extend the blush onto their noses so it looks more natural. clothes that I have these I usually reserve for events like these symposiums if it's anything super formal or business casual which is the dress code for this event I don't know if I want to go with a skirt or some pants oh there's people bring playing frisbee outside um but because it's like not too not too cold outside today and I might walk over in sneakers and then change into heels while I'm for the presentation I'm gonna change and show you guys some outfit ideas. All right, so this is outfit number one. I have this nice polka dotty top with khaki pants. And so this is a black jacket, which I don't think really matches with the khaki pants. I really like this jacket because it's like a black blazer, but it's also special because it's has flowery sleeves. So it just adds a little bit something. So this is, Super comfortable. I could wear this like on a daily basis, but it's just a striped shirt. I'm going to probably wear black pants with these and then black blazer. Or I might try a skirt combo as well. Alright, so this is what I have for the skirt outfit. I have a turquoise tank, which is sleeveless, with the same blazer that I really love with the flowers. And this is a skirt that my sister gave me. <laughs> I feel like everything in my closet is from my sister's closet because she has really good fashion sense. I don't know if the skirt really matches with the entire outfit. I think my final outfit will be this blazer with this top and also just black, black bottoms. Okay, I think I really like this. So it's just gonna be a simple business casual outfit and it definitely does match my board. So, because it's like a light blue and this is turquoise, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to wear these shoes. I'm gonna wear these. I'm gonna wear my sneakers over though. That's a goji berry. This is the white wood ear fungus that I wanted to show you guys. It's like, kind of like a jelly, but it's like a collagen filled, delicious snack. It's usually eaten for dessert, I think, but I'm gonna have it for breakfast. Time to get down to business. I'm gonna keep eating my buy more and then I'm going to go over, revise my presentation and make sure I know what I'm talking about and <laughs> make sure I have the answers to any questions that might come up. So if you see me like going like this, that's my presentation. <laughs> see you guys in a bit. So it turns out my panel, I'm number 28. That is actually right where you walk in. It's one of the first ones you see. So I'm gonna hang up my poster. And also I wore my sneakers here and I'm gonna change into heels in a bit. than how I did it the first time at the other symposium. I think these pins are really good. They're like this long, kind of like sewing needles, so really sticks into it. All right. This is the table arrangement. I am over here, it's my last name, so Caroline Chen. When we walk in, this is the entrance. I'm right over here. Actually, I want to go and speak to some of the other surf symposium friends and classmates. This. So these people haven't arrived yet. She's putting up her board right now. This is like the low rotunda, so it's like, hi, Blaine. You're welcome. 
vlogging. I'm vlogging. You look so pretty. Wait, can I pan down to your shoes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Like it? Where are you setting up? I do. I love I them. am number 37. 37. I think you're over here. I, I just saw. Oh, right here. Ta da! Hello, Tim G. Hey. This is Tim G. He up? is a sophomore in CC. Oh, no, in CS. In CS, yeah. In CS, in the engineering school. What was your research on? Uh, so my research was uh, so my lab focuses on engineering bacteria yeah. to detect cancer tumors. <gasps> Am uh, I dumb or is this not sticky? It's not sticky at all. It's just like yeah. Oh no no no! There was um you have to do like there's like a finesse finessing thing you can do. It took me a while too. Okay, I got like. Did it work? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Only or only only most most of it's sticky. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. That's cool. Ah! Yeah. So I helped do that. So. Nice. Yeah. Celine, you got it? Yep. This is the most difficult part, most difficult part of the entire symposium. <laughs> wow, look at this rotunda. Can you see it? Oh, there you can see it. It's so pretty. Do you need help, Tanji? Uh, I think I got it. Okay, let me know. Of course. Cool. This is the person next to me. Poster holder. Really? Yeah, but the thing is, like, I put this inside and like it wouldn't come out after I put it oh, inside. Oh, like the the plastic one? Yeah, it was like it was like a cardboard one. Oh. But like, uh, I guess this thing isn't limited and stuff. Like it was. Yeah. Oh. Way too much not, friction oh. while you're trying to get it out. So, okay. So. The plastic works. Yeah, plastic does work. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a look at some food first. This is a kosher table. There's um, also more sandwiches over there. <laughs> Celine says this is like a holy water inside the rotunda. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> and then you like walk and you get water here. And look, there's like marble stuff. So fancy. So fancy. Oh, single hand water pour. Mmm. So talented. Ooh, there's more food on this table and the lighting here is better too, so I'm gonna give you guys another pan around of the sandwich spread. I hit a peak. What you doing right now is not for me. Can you win a night trouble with my sleep? Oh my gosh! My friend! Here's me. What are you guys here for? Um, the surf symposium and bio extra credit. <laughs> Do you want to hear my spiel? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ready? It is 2.08 p.m. The symposium is officially over. I was still talking to a couple people about my, my research back there. Finally have some chance to grab some lunch. Um, it's actually pretty good. I really like these sandwiches. I, my feet hurt so much, so I'm wearing my sneakers again, not my heels, and I'm gonna take this down and then head back to my room. All right, so I'm back in my room in Hartley. Just walked back from Low Rotunda like a couple minutes ago. So the surf symposium went really well. I saw so many, so many familiar faces from class and also a lot of friends because there was this opportunity just to allow like intro bio students to gain more knowledge about the different aspects of biology and its applications in research. And also there was an extra credit, potential extra credit opportunity if they went and wrote about two research presentations so hopefully the people who um heard my presentation thought it was helpful and that thought it was interesting and yeah i also listened to a couple of other students presentations Ooh, my hair and they were really interesting one was about using bacteria to detect cancer cells or tumor sites um through using pH. Tumor cells generally have a lower pH than normal cells so that's a way that you can kind of detect that and also another one was about how early life stress can cause anxiety in um, adult mice even though the effects might not manifest themselves so outwardly until the mice are adults. I think young mice also begin to show already differences in their ventral DG, VDG, that area of the brain. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys liked 
my Get Ready With Me for the Surf Symposium on Valentine's Day. Later tonight, there's actually a Seas Gala. So this is a an event held by the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. So Seas, it's like our first school dance that I've heard of at Columbia, or I guess that every CUID holder is invited to. So I'm gonna be doing that. I might do another Get Ready With Me for the Valentine's Day dance later tonight but right now i'm gonna get some work i'll catch up with you guys later and that might actually be in another vlog so stay tuned for that vlog um i'll do another makeup look this is my daytime makeup look i might do like a more dramatic nighttime i actually forgot that i have like beauty supplies actually because i just use my fingers all the time but i got these supplies for christmas so might as well use them right hope you enjoyed this get ready with me first time trying to do that vlog yeah all right I'll catch you guys later. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, comment on what you'd like to see next, and subscribe, hit that bell button to get all the notifications. All right, and I'll see you later. Bye. I dress like good on you. Wanna love, wanna love, wanna be from